This isn't pure nostalgia. This is not as if I want to go back to 1955. I just think that there's something, there's a sort of analog world that's coming to an end. Everything's sort of automatic and, and you push a button or you download an app and there's none of that going on with the Alpha. Is it as simple as, as I saw one as a child or is there something more to it? My fascination with Alfa Romeos must have started uh, way back when I was early teens, I think, and uh, an architect who worked with my dad drove his Julia GTV down the driveway of our house. The sound of the door, the sound of the key turning the ignition on, the sound of the e-brake being released, the sound of the carburetors springing to life, the sound of the precise shift from first to second, that click that you know you're seated right there, the sound of the cams chattering when I'm in a low gear. My name is Jeff Martin, and I love driving my 1955 Alfa Romeo Giulietta Sprint. There's an inherently Italian sort of uh, DNA going on in there, and, and it just speaks to me. I became completely enthralled with this particular Alpha. Probably when I was in my early 20s, I saw one at a, um, a, a mechanics place, and it looked like this UFO to me. It looked like it was just from another dimension. I, it, it just stuck out. I bought one, had it restored, got it back, and a week later, somebody crashed into me and destroyed the car. I thought, I didn't get enough time with this car. I've got to find another one. And I took the insurance money and I found this 1955. These hippies that lived up in Santa Cruz put the car in the recycler and I just drove up and bought it from them. Um, it wasn't in great shape, but it's incredible how great these cars feel, even if they're in kind of shoddy condition. I mean, it's still, it, it just purred down the road. You could feel what the potential would be. And then the, the moment that I'm just loving the drive back home down the 101, uh, the gas tank falls off and shower of sparks go into the back. When I open up the garage and I put the key in the ignition and fire up this car, it's this amazing, it's almost like this sort of cannon blast. It, it has this initial punch and it just sort of springs to life in this almost celebrative way. Like it's sort of so happy that you've come back and turned it on. Even just backing out of my driveway and just doing the most mundane aspects of driving feel like this religious ritual. I love driving the Giulietta because so many memories in these cars, you know, I mean, some, some of my first dates, I remember, you know, packing a, an old like cooler with, with two bottles of champagne and picking up my girlfriend and going to a concert. There's a particular feeling to an Alfa Romeo that I think uh, sort of sets it apart from other cars. And they've been explained to me as, as sort of the poor man's Ferrari, and really it is a four-cylinder Ferrari. When I see an Alfa Romeo, an old Giulietta like mine on the street, it's almost like you're sort of being haunted. It's like a sighting of something very rare and unique. 
in a sense, you're sort of all by yourself in a way too because everyone's driving around in these modern cars and you're in this little sort of time machine and it almost feels like you're invisible because the car's so old now that there are plenty of people that don't have any reference point for it. When you're driving it, it feels like you're interacting with a living creature. I can sense the pistons going up and down. I can kind of feel all of these subtle things through the steering wheel. In a more modern car, which is more like an appliance or something, that's just gone. Every aspect of the driving experience just feels good. I don't meditate, but this is a form of meditation. There's definitely a whole sort of rhythm to it. It speaks to me in this sort of deep way that, that only a few things can. <laughs>